Hi guys, today's BYT and welcome back to a brand new video and today is a very, very strange one because a lot of you guys are interested in the fact that Samson are bringing out in 2018, so we believe, a foldable, bendable smartphone. I did do a sort of preview on it a few weeks ago, which I'll leave linked here if you are interested, but potentially you may just want to forget about that phone because right now we have one which is launched and it is called the ZTE Axon M. All the information right now. Let's go. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell if you're new and want to be notified every time I post a new video. Also, if you are interested in any of the best and latest deals on devices, whether that be smartphones, Android boxes, tablets, laptops and PCs, etc. And also some great deals on some of the best VPNs, please check out the video description below. All the information will be left there. Right, so like I mentioned, this in so many ways is two smartphones which can fold in the middle into one so you have the portability of one smartphone you have the benefit of a much bigger display there are many reasons why having two screens can be beneficial which i'll go into later when we talk about the features but we'll just talk a little bit about the design so it's going to be glass on the front and back and it is gorilla glass 5 which of course is important if you're going to be placing your smartphone down you need a decent strength glass otherwise you are going to potentially get damage now the fingerprint reader is on the actual home button on the side which i quite like because like imagine this this is the one plus five the power button is on this side here so if i wanted to just turn the phone on i have to use the home button most phones do that anyway or on the back but i quite like that my hand's natural position is on the side here so obviously without testing it, i can't say for sure but i personally think that is a good location for the print the pringer print the pr pringles it's a good location for pringles what are you talking about? It's a good location for the fingerprint sensor. It has got a headphone jack as well. A lot of you guys still are desperately clawing back on that headphone jack bandwagon. It is being dismissed by many companies, but at this moment in time, it is going to be available on this phone. Now, we'll talk about the main feature before talking about some of the other features as well. Now, the main feature is, of course, the fact that it does have that split in the middle. So the two smartphones side by side, which fold in the middle. Now, one of the downsides is it's going to make the phone obviously thicker. How thick is acceptable to you is another matter and, and of course i'd love to hear your thoughts below about whether you, whether you like the fact that phones are fairly thin and would it, would this turn you off or would the benefits outweigh that the benefits are of course the fact that when you open it you have a bigger screen you have double the amount of real estate that you can watch media on but as well as that you can fold it in the middle backwards on itself so that actually two people can watch the same thing sitting opposite each other which is kind of a bit gimmicky but at the same time if you've got kids for example that kind of get annoyed when they sit next to each other and they want to be opposite each other obviously it's going to be good for that friends as well if you're watching it if if you've got chairs at different sides, you can obviously see the same thing at the same time, which is pretty good. Also, if you've got the actual phone facing yourself and you don't want to watch the same thing split across two screens, which obviously makes that viewing experience bigger, you want two separate things, you can do that. So you can have YouTube on one side, you can have an app open like Twitter or Instagram on another side, and you can obviously then scroll between the two. And I understand that Android has this ability where you can do that and you can split the screen anyway, but I think this would essentially make it actually even easier to do that. And of course, if your eyesight's a bit of a problem, then you don't have to worry about small little sections that you've obviously customized. You can have two big screens and you can do two different things on. Also good for gamers as well, because if you flip it sideways, imagine this, you've got a game on the bottom which you're playing, but you're watching a, a sport, you're watching the NFL or you're watching the Premier League or something like that on the second screen, you can do that or you're watching a movie and you want to do something else below, you want to still be on your social media because you're watching a, a, a TV show, a, a series that a lot of people are talking about and you want to get engaged on your social medias, You again, you can have your Twitter or Instagram or, or Snapchat or whatever open on the bottom and you can watch on the top the actual program or film that you're watching. And the way they've done this is it has a separate button in order to change what that second screen does. So as well as your recent, your home and your back buttons on the actual phone, they there's a fourth button next to it which basically allows you to either have it as nothing, so just one screen open and the other one black, 
Uh, dual screen, so exactly the same thing spread over the two screens for a wider, bigger display. The mirroring aspect, so that you can again fold it and you can have two people watching it from different sides. Or of course, you can have two different things open at the same time. Micro SD card uh, expandability, so you can add uh, that micro SD card for more storage. And there is a dual speaker, so again, if you're turning it sideways, you've got it coming from two different angles, so you don't have the problem of putting your hand over the speaker or whatever, you know, you know the trials and tribulations of that solitary speaker. So the second speaker is there nevertheless. And one more thing, not really essential, not many people care about, but just expect these days, Type-C charge, of course, is going to be there. So they are pretty much the main points of this new phone, the ZTE Axon M. Let me know, like I said, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear how you feel uh, this sort of area of the market. Is it is it gimmicky? Is it actually going to work if the smartphone works well in terms of its raw components, hardware and software? Is it going to be something that you would be interested in if the price is right? Or is this, like the Samsung X next year, just an area of the market which kind of doesn't need to be done because, of course, it happened six years ago. You know, we saw the Echo came out and it was in all the main areas, it, it, it kind of failed really. But nevertheless, we are six years on. So much has changed in the smart world. The build quality is going to be different. The actual usability, the interface, everything's going to be different. Obviously, the Android operating system is completely different. So basically, what I want to know from you guys is, is this going to be a yay or or a nay or are you going to wait for the samsung x next year or are you going to have neither no foldable no bendable just give me a normal smartphone and let me get on with it let me know in the comment section below i always love scrolling through and looking at all your comments and i will try and obviously answer as many questions as i can i'll be jumping on through jumping on through i won't be jumping anywhere in the comments to be honest i'll be reading so but anyway that's enough from me today i will love you and leave you i'll see you in the next one say it's peace out